This morning, the 10-year-old bitten by a shark in the Bahamas is back in the U.S. after being airlifted to a hospital in his home state of Maryland. Everyone was fracked at trying to figure out what was going on. The boy was bitten on his leg during a shark tank experience at the Atlantis Paradise Island Resort. Witnesses describe the terrifying moments. There was a lot of blood. The mom was a hero. She jumped right into action. She started wrapping towels around him, kind of probably doing tourniquet style, and um, and got him in into, you know, at least helping with the bleeding. Doctors say the boy underwent successful surgery before being flown back to the U.S. The resort website has advertised the shark experience, saying guests can walk on the bottom of the tank and come face to face with the sharks. The owners of the excursion say they're deeply saddened by the attack and say they have begun an internal investigation and are fully cooperating with the authorities. The experience is closed pending an investigation, and local lawmakers are now questioning whether these types of activities should be regulated. We will consider uh, lessons learned from all of these shock attacks, potentially reflect some changes in the regulations. Experts say maintaining a safe distance and respecting the shark's personal space is key for safety. You don't want to get too close, invade their space. It could, it, it could um, make them uncomfortable. Shark encounters with people can be an extremely re rewarding and special experience for people and can be done safely. The resort's shark tank experience has been open since 2006. The company says this is the first guest-related incident. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.